We act for our people. We don't act on our own. We act for the people. If the Belizean people say we don't go, we don't go. There won't be another referendum held. No, I'm not saying that. They are not saying that. We have got to reach a point in my mind where we will decide that we have to resolve this matter in some way or the other. But the commitment that successive governments have given to the Belizean people is that any method for solving this matter has to be put to the people by way of referendum. So if we decide on another means, we, if, if the leaders decide on another means of solving it, we will also have to come back to the sure. people for a referendum. The Belizean people must make the decision. The question is, because of cost considerations, because of all the other mitigating <coughs> factors in terms of doing this exercise uh, a second or a third time, will this be on the special agreement? Will this be taken to a one-time referendum if it's a resounding, whatever the results are? And I'm saying it is not my understanding that it's going to be a one-time thing. If you get a yes vote on both sides, it's going to be a one-time, clearly. Yeah. But if you don't get a yes vote, certainly in the case of Belize, whatever decision we take, as a government in relation to how to solve it, we are bound, even outside of the special agreement, we are bound as a government. That's, that's what we are committed to the people of Belize, to give them the final say by way of referendum.